It's loading. So look good. I think you're live, yeah. You go live? Really? Thank you, Justice. Hello, happy holidays to everybody in the Facebook Live family, in the Solarside family. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving and hope you're getting prepared for the holidays. We're going to do that session that we were supposed to do a couple weeks ago. We're going to do tonight. So if you have your solar sizers, get them ready. It's a, it's a good routine. It takes some time. It's going to be about a 27-minute routine, but it's not, um, it's not too intense. So the whole purpose of this is what do we do just to create health and homeostasis and balance within our, our physique and our both mentally and physically. So I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, there's a difference between proactive versus reactive. And I want everyone in the solar side family to consider the difference in being proactive versus being reactive. The difference between fighting against that which is wrong and promoting that which is right. There's a difference in energy. When we're fighting against a negative condition, whether it's health or relationship oriented or culturally oriented, when we're fighting against that which is wrong, we generally, we take on a position that creates contention or division with somebody else who's fighting for a different cause. Now, I believe that there is an agenda or, or a desire to create contention and division among the human race, if you will, our families, because there's an objective to have control or power over people. When they're divided, it's easier to have that control in, in power. It's the same thing in our physical health as well. If you have a negative condition, whether it's cancer, COVID, obesity, an addiction, and you're fighting against that thing that's negative, you deal in all those frustrations. And we're seeing that manifest in our culture today. But when we're promoting that which is right, we have a peace, we have a sense of purpose, we have a, a goal and an objective. I shared this, and many of you have heard it before, but it, it's a story that's in the scriptures where Jesus walks into the temple. And on this one particular day, something has changed. Premeditatively, he goes out and he makes a scourge, and they're pretty scary whips. And with authority, he walks into the temple grounds, and he heads right on over to the money changer tables. He overthrows the table, scatters the animals. He says, my house is a house of prayer. You've made it a den of thieves. And I asked people, what was his point? Why that particular day? And what makes a good thief? A good thief, again, is somebody who's robbing from you and you don't even know they're doing it. What did he do? He exposed the thieves. And then he did something interesting. He ushered both those who were selling and those who were buying out of the temple. It didn't matter whether you were ignorant or not. But we also learned, know ye not that ye are the temple of God, the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of him shall God destroy, for the temple is holy. Which temple ye are? So, we're our temples, our ability to be in tune with greater knowledge, greater inspiration, is to a large degree dependent upon how sensitive we are to that sphere. And there are attempts to pollute your body. So whether it's viruses or whether it's um, heavy metals, toxins, poisons, preservatives, chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, those are all foreign invaders that are destroying you from enjoying a better quality of life, more energy, and more vitality, and I know that's true. Those are the thieves. What makes a good thief? Something that's stealing from you and you don't even know it. Well, we have a way to expose the thieves and to usher them out. And that's what the solar sizer has a great potential of doing. We have a lymphatic system. 
it holds a negative pressure. Movement causes suction. You get on that cellar sizer for a few minutes, millions of one minute valves start sucking. It starts ushering out the foreign invaders within the body. So as you move up and down on a day-to-day -day basis, I think the most important thing we do every day is to wake up our civil defense system, wake up our immune system, get that circulation working more effectively, stimulate the thyroid, the adrenals, the endocrine system, and it's the wake-up call. I had somebody call me up um, earlier today who said that they used to always wake up and they would drink coffee. That's how they woke up. They've been solar sizing now for several weeks. They don't wake up anymore and drink the coffee. Now, I'm not saying anything negative about a coffee, but if you're using it for the purposes of stimulation or to wake up, there might be a better way to consider and when you're on that cellar sizer and you're moving up and down, it doesn't take very long for that whole body to be vitalized and to, to feel better and feel good. So let's read some uh, customer reviews and we'll answer some questions and then we'll get started on the program. And, and as a holiday message, I just want all of us to be able to usher those negative um, influences as much as we possibly can out of our life, lives and proactively usher in those things that are going to give us more joy and greater peace and more love and greater capacity. And I, I think solar size creates a chemical balance, physical balance, but I think there's an emotional balance that we can develop more within ourselves as well. So, testimonial. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and write the questions down. Justice is behind the screen, and he'll pass those on to me. Okay, this is one that, that uh, Dalian pulled. She thought it was worth reading again, and I agree. This is good. Johnny writes, I'm a registered nurse with fibromyalgia syndrome and chronic fatigue syndrome and have been quite sick for the past one to two years. I was in so much pain that I was taking morphine. My life was vanishing from my very eyes on a daily basis. All I could do was go to work and come home and go to bed. I am single, so I have to work, although I've had to continually cut back on my hours. With the assistance of my doctor, Christine, I decided to go off all medications, cold turkey, and start over. She suggested the cellar sizer and had one in her office. She had to help me get on and off it because I was so weak and unsteady. I could barely bounce on it, but I started off with one minute, three to five times per day. I did that for about two weeks before I was able to bounce a little harder. I'm still off all medications and I'm gradually increasing my time and effort on the cellar sizer. Dad, is your mic by your face? Is it not? Is that better? Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you. <laughs> I'm still off all medications and gradually increasing my time and effort on the cellar sizer. The level of pain I was experiencing on a scale of 1 to 10 was about 15. I was in agony. Now the pain level is between 0 to 3. There are some other major things I'm doing as well, but I believe the cellar sizer is playing the major role in my recovery. I give the ultimate credit to God. I would like to be able to talk to fibromyalgia groups here in town, but they do not allow any products to be mentioned. I'm still planning on talking with them and, and passing out the program. I'm excited about my continued improvement. Thank you for all your efforts. Sharon writes, about 12 years ago, I was faced <clears throat> with a death sentence. Doctors said there was nothing they could do and there was no hope left for me. I looked and felt like twice my age. As a result, I was forced into an early retirement looking for ways to stay alive. I was not ready to leave this planet at the age of only 53 years old. In my research, I learned that moving the lymphatic system was key to healing. So I looked for the best ways to move the lymph along with changing my diet and lifestyle habits. There were studies stating how rebounding was the best way to move the lymph. Since I had medical bills, I could not buy it I could only buy a cheap rebounder. After using it for a while, I felt worse and it caused even more health issues. I thought rebounding was not for me, yet articles from experts kept appearing for me to read everywhere that I talked about in the talk about the healing effects of rebounding. Therefore, it was obvious that I had to search for another rebounder and hope it would help heal instead of hurting me this time. I tried various rebounders over the months to see and feel the differences in them so I could pick the right one this time, which I was willing to pay whatever price just to get the best one. After much experimentation and more research, I chose a cellar sizer and ordered it 
and ordered it immediately. The seller size arrived quickly, yet I was scared to use it. I remember feeling horrible after using the cheap rebounder. Plus, more time had passed of not moving the lymph, so I had more aches and pains, more bone and muscle loss, more labored breathing, and weighed only 76 pounds. The seller size was set up easily despite being so weak. The challenge was to finally get back on a rebounder again. It was good that I had ordered the seller size with a balance bar, so it, as it gave me confidence to climb on it, and the support I needed to do some improvement with less anxiety. I played music to help motivate me to move since it makes me happy. I began to slowly move my body just doing a bounce to the music. It felt good and nothing, nothing like the cheap rebounder did, all capitalized. There were no rules that I could find on how to use the rebounder, so I made up my own. It is a tool to move the length. I just needed to fig figure a way to to move my sick body in any way possible. For me, it had to be fun and not boring. After about five minutes, I was dancing that I hadn't done in years. Now, after nine years of cellar size dancing, I have a better quality of life, all capitalized. Now, each year I feel younger and healthier instead of older and sicker, as in the past. In June, I turned 65 because I learned because I learned how to move the lymph system naturally using my cellar sizer, my health issues are more manageable. I feel physically I have more energy, mentally have decreased brain fog, and emotionally have eliminated depression. The cellar sizer is an astonishing piece of apparatus that assisted in creating miracles in my health as part of my new lifestyle and helped me live long past the few months that doctors predicted 12 years ago. Thank you, Dave, for designing the best rebound that gives me hope instead of fear to stay on my healing journey. And thank you so much for sharing, sharing that, Sharon. All right. Um, I had a lady call up earlier today. She's been on the solarizer for several years. And as she was growing older, she would tell people, hey, what an incredible piece of exercise equipment it had made in her life. Well, she called me up uh, earlier today to say that at 89 years of age, she has her friends now coming around to talk to her, asking, how is it you have such vitality, such health, and are so flexible at 89 years of age? So she talked to several of them. They're all interested in getting the subtle sizes. So she called me up to talk to me about how to best do that. And of course, we have... You're all part of the Solar Science family, or, or most of you are watching this, um, and you, you automatically get a discount. And by the way, we had a fantastic Black Friday special program. We offer the Solar Sizer at the lowest price we've ever offered it um, with the discount, the best discount we've ever offered. And that, um, that ends tonight, but I want to thank all of you for the support and for sharing it to the people you care about. You kept me really in the office, really, really busy, so thank you much. Cha Cha writes, Hello, Dave. For the past week, I have suffered with BPPV. That's a balance issue. I never had this before. The doctor asked me to stop jumping until my problem is better. I miss my solar sizer. Do you think that even gentle baby bounce five minutes a day would be great, would be good until I feel fine? I have no dizziness at all when I train. I actually feel better. Thanks. Yeah, Cha Cha, if your doctor is saying don't use that to move up and down, I probably consult with another doctor. The reason I say that is, and I'm not offering this as medical advice, I'm just saying that I've not known anybody personally that hasn't benefited in their balance issues, the brain activity, even people with strokes or or damage within the vestibular um, area of their ear that hasn't improved and benefited from solar size. So again, I, I, I have to qualify this because you have a doctor who said that they don't think you should do it. And I'm not going to interfere with what the doctor says other than I'd say, hey, get a second opinion. Um, because the solar size is definitely going to improve circulation. And that's, I think, how we promote healing. Debbie writes, hi, I used to walk nearly every day. Now I'm having trouble with arthritis in my hips and legs. Will the solar sizer help? We have specific movements that are designed to help promote circulation in the joints. So 
moving gently up and down is going to help increase circulation. Okay, so moving, um, just moving up and down warms up the tissue, increases circulation. Rocking side to side targets the supporting muscles and ligaments in the hip. It helps to strengthen it. This gentle movement helps to open up that hip area. This here, jumbo walk, is how we strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knees it, without jarring effect. And it, it, and it builds them. And those are just some of the beginning examples of considerations with regards to, to knee and weaknesses and hip issues. Nancy writes, my mother has a prolapsed uterus and she is 72 and her physician says she needs surgery. I bought her a cell oh, okay. Yeah, okay, the prolapsed uterus, if, if it's torn, if it's torn, really nothing more than surgery is going to be able to, to heal that. If it's just weak, then yes, we can often help strengthen it. But if the doctor says you need surgery, it may be because those connective tissues surrounding have been torn, which happens during pregnancy and can happen with joggers, women who go out and do a lot of long distance running with her, pounding the ground hard that can tear those, those fibers too. So I bought her a cellar size that she uses every now and then. Can you recommend a routine that can either prevent her from surgery or help strengthen her for surgery and minimize what needs to be done. There are movements that target that area. Um, that it's not just vertical. You don't just have to move it up, you know, um, standing up. And those are the movements where you can sit down on the solicitor. And can they see okay, Justice? They sit on solicitor. You can put your hands right by your hips and just gently bounce up and down where you're kind of sitting back a little bit. And that offers just a little additional support while you're strengthening from the inside out. So all of that movement is strengthening those connective tissues and the fascia and, and all those protein fibers. And then of course, getting to the point where you can lift up a leg and balance a little bit, you're gonna feel that more in that abdominal area. And of course, you can lift up the other leg and eventually you can be lifting up both legs. But Start off easy. Right. Okay. Um, this one's called you know, From Keep the Hope. It says, I was recently told if you have any type of prolapse that you should not use a rebounder. I was surprised. I thought it would be good with cellular size. What are your thoughts? Yeah. Cellular size with prolapse uteruses, when you approach it correctly, can be very beneficial because you're not having the impact of hitting a hard surface. You're gently causing the tissue, the supporting tissue, to firm up because it's weight-bearing. And anytime you put weight on those protein fibers, they respond by fortifying their membrane with more protein. They get stronger. If we don't do anything, they generally will get weaker. So cellular size has a way of being able to help support senses weight-bearing from the inside out, not just certain muscles. It's, uh, it, it can offer an extreme advantage. Jan writes, how long do I need to stay off after a knee scope for meniscus cleanup on both sides, one substantial? When the doctor gives you the clearance for exercising, then the cellular sizing is gonna be the best exercise that you can have. Um, you can talk to your doctor about the gentle movement up and down is not using the knee much, but it's pumping circulation. It helps reduce inflammation. It can strengthen. And standing on the sulfurizer, bending the knee just slightly, and walking in place, that you can regulate the amount of stress. So I teach this to physical therapists. You can regulate the amount of stress by how far you sit down and how high you stand up. So it can be very, very gentle, but helps to promote that whole healing process. Rocking side to side, of course, is a very gentle way of working to strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knee. Katie writes, hi, I looked up the Witten sock and I need more support than a flexible sock. Okay, she's talking about these socks here, which are really you know, nice and flexible 
Um, and I love them. They feel so comfortable. But she says, mine folds a bit upward versus solid flat. Will it be okay to jump with light shoes support? And not, or not a good idea to do so on the trampoline. No, you can wear shoes. You, I, I have found that if the shoe's restrictive, if it's too restrictive and your foot cannot move to support your natural alignment, that that can be uncomfortable. But if you have a sneaker that has flexibility in it, yeah, you know, it's not gonna hurt the seller size. So if you're worried about that. Ellen says, my sister has arthritis in her knee and back, which is really painful. What's the best exercise for on the subtle sizer? You know, for as far as the knees, warming up the tissue, um, just gently moving, just like this is helpful. And standing in place and just kind of gently rocking, it can help increase circulation. And while you're doing it, it can help alleviate some of the pain, some of the issues. And it may stiffen again until we get the supporting muscles and ligaments strong enough. They've also done research, Stanford's doing research now on the viability of, of actually regrowing cartilage in, in that knee area, which I've talked to other doctors who believe that even when it's bone on bone, when the bones are actually rubbing against themselves, they can actually be stimulated, stimulated to grow um, a type of cartilage that offers more, more support in that knee area. Um, and as far as the back, I shared that technique recently with Justice where you lie down on the solarizer to take the vertical pressure off the back. Wonderful, fantastic exercise. Look that one up. We did that, I think, a couple weeks ago, didn't we, Justice? When you lie down, was it about a month ago or a couple weeks ago? A couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago. That's a fantastic, fantastic technique. Um, Kelly. Um, we have a question from yeah. Marlene. Sure. She says, can Dave demonstrate how to do, how to, how to exactly, how to do the jogger run or how, and also what's the best exercise to strengthen your quads? Yeah. Yeah, that's in fact, let's go to, see we're not going to do the jogger run in this program. So let's go back and I want to show you. So on the, the Mr. Rebounder app, if you go to our library of movements, I'm going to go down to the Jamba Run, and you can see it right here. Can they see that? It's just a glare, but... Okay, so you can turn this, and you can see it's pretty much flat-footed. So I'll show you, too. But um, it's done by keeping the back straight. Don't lean forward. I'm going to keep the back straight, the feet flat. And you're pushing down into the mat. So you're almost lifting up on the ball to your feet just a little bit. So you stay flat footed. And it's just like this. You want to push your knees out a little bit so that you have a good alignment. And it's just like that. I'm sitting backwards just a little bit, so I keep the weight over the thighs and on the knees to strengthen them. I hope that, hope that helps. So it's pretty flat for you. You're not lifting your feet up off the mat much at all. Any suggestions or recommendations for food cravings? Get on the cellar sizer and do some jogging for a couple minutes and end up with a little bit of a sprint and then just do the baby bounce. It helps to balance blood sugars in the body and helps to alleviate the, the hunger issues. Okay. Wanda Lee writes, are there specific moves for adrenal fatigue and strengthening the kidneys as in kidney meridian. And again, the second most important physical activity that I teach on the cellar sizer is when you stand on it and you lift the heels up and down 
and do the twist. This movement right here, as you're moving up and down, so is everything else. And as you gently twist, you don't have to torque, tor just gently twist. Your liver, your kidneys, your spleen, your gallbladder, your pancreas, your adrenals, all those internal organs are moving up and down. Now you have a twist. You're massaging all those internal organs every single day. How many people are getting that type of activity on a day-to-day -day basis? Not too many, most of us just live horizontally day after day where we turn the body here, but we're not really doing much of this. And that movement can actually help loosen up the lower back as well. So you're really working on the inside to massage it. the colon and the intestines. Is, you're putting them through a little washing machine effect every day. So. Ronald writes, I would really appreciate specific moves that can help with scoliosis. By the way, my arms were aching for four days after those arm exercises from last time. <laughs> I'm planning on doing that routine weekly. Thank you. Thanks for now. That was, yeah, that a couple weeks ago we were going to do the program we are going to do tonight. And I just accidentally hit the wrong button. And so we did a, a different program. But it, it, is, it is a great exercise, and it helps to open up the scapula area, the shoulders. Wonderful technique. Um, scoliosis. Okay. To open up the back, and if you have some curvature in the back, the technique that I teach where you take the elbow, stick it up over your head, and lean to the left, if you have curvature, you're going to feel the stretch in the back. The moment you feel the stretch, you're helping to stretch those muscles. Then you hold the position, gently bounce. You can take the right foot and cross it in front of the left foot as well. And that's working that whole right side of the body. And then you do the same thing for the left side. Now the side that you feel more of the stretch is the side you probably want to spend a little bit more attention on. But then I always end up, after I've opened things up, Gently doing the twist because it creates balance within the body again. Yes, Jesse. Um, Vicky says a Gentile question mark. Hmm. I, I don't know. Is oh, tonight. I think so. Yeah, tonight's program is going to be gentle. It's going to be a. Oh, gentle. Yeah, a gentle program, but it's a lengthy program, so you can stop if you want. Just do a baby bounce and and see if we can stick with it, with us. Carla says, is it possible to help cartilage in the knee that has been mostly removed during surgery? Family member's knee has permanent pain and problems walking, and she's been told that cartilage cannot grow back. Well, that's not true. Cartilage can grow back. Um, it sometimes needs a little help, and that's some of the research now in stem cells and in injections and um, I call it a little fracturing of the knee, so it helps to uh, stimulate that that growth and personally for me if i notice a little inflammation in the knee like when i tore up my cartilage or my meniscus horizontally and vertically i welcome that because i believe it helped with the knitting process and i don't have any any problems with my knees now which is nice <laughs> so ac where could i get maggie's story it isn't available here on your site no, but it's on the video. Maggie's story is on the video. Part of it is on the, the downloadable DVD, Solar Size, the Ultimate Exercise. She actually stands up and shares part of her story. Carrie says, is the benefit of feet leaving the mat versus the feet staying on the mat the same? Um, you don't really need to leave the mat high. I, if you're doing certain exercises that require that, well, sure, I mean, like, you know, things like this. But as far as jumping like this, you can, but it's not, I don't think this is beneficial because you're floating. You're just floating for a longer period of time. And on a big trampoline, it's fun to float, <laughs> but your cells aren't doing much. When you're closer to the mat, the cells are flexing many more times per minute, and the lymph system is opening and closing and pumping and circulating. It's more intense, and so you're closer. It, than it is just moving up and down. So 
if I had to choose, I built my physique and my body staying close to the mat. You know, I, I leveraged my body weight by altering the angle of the body in different positions. It's really worked well for me. Emma, my aunt recently had a stroke. She waited too long to get to the hospital because of that has lost the use of her left arm and leg, but is now working with an in-home physical therapist and family. She does own a cellar sizer and also encouraged me to purchase one. My question is, will cellar sizing help her in her healing process? I love the cellar sizer. Thank you for encouraging us. Oh, Pamela, yeah. Yeah, we've had many people, um, talk to your doctor, but we have many people that have been able to help uh, retrain the brain and open up circulation communication channels with the body after a stroke when they started cellar sizing. And I've had a chance to work with some cardiologists in, in the in the past as well. Yes, Justice. Um, Sylvia says, how long is the dental routine and where it will be? Okay, uh, it's going to be in the intermediate section. And I wonder if it's there now. It may be there now. Um, I didn't check. I just checked on what I have. But it, um, oops, let's go back to the beginning. Go back to the beginning. So, all right, so I put it in my workout, um, whoops, it's in my workouts. I just, um, I think I did add it. I think it's added. So it's called um, beginning intermediate. No, it's not. It's called senior health and fitness. I want to do that again. It's called senior health and fitness, and it should be in the intermediate section. Olivia writes, I tried to take it as a carry-on and I wasn't allowed any options for a hard case to check it in. Olivia, I check mine in often just in the carrying case that it's in, just like that. So if, um, you're, obviously the half bowl won't go in the carry-on. The trifold, generally I can get that on. I just tell them, no, it fits, I've measured it and usually it's not a problem. Um, but if it is a problem, then yes, you can check it in at the bulkhead um, as you're getting ready to get on or check it in with your luggage. And, you know, the, it, it, it's not to say it can't be damaged. I mean, any, any luggage can be damaged, but it's, it's I've never had it damaged. Um, and I've been traveling for decades with it. So... Um, it should be fine. It should be fine either way. Um, we have some question. Uh, yeah. Rebecca says, do you know yet when the mineral supplement so you lose shield will be available? Yeah. Yeah, I think um, I may be working more behind the scenes in the next couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, I, I hope to have it out this week. We, there's no reason not to. We've got... Um, couple different things we'll consider introducing, um, and that'll be one of them. So hang in there. Uh, you can call up and, and order directly from me in the interim. Um, just give, give me a call during the day. Uh, if you don't want to wait, and I understand that, and then we'll get it up. We'll see if we can't get it up this week. Yes, Justice. Um, Angela says, how long is delivery time on ordering a seller sizer now? Need one by the 16th. Okay. We sold out of half folds with balance bars um, yesterday. So they're, they're back ordered for about a couple weeks. Um, they'll go out probably, we're hoping the week of the 11th. So that Monday on, we hope to be shipping the half folds with bars. Now we have half folds still right now. We have balance bars, the streamlined balance bars. Those are still available and we have trifolds still available. So they can go out tomorrow. I mean, if you order them now, they'll go out tomorrow and they shouldn't take very long to get to you depending on what part of the country you live in. Yes, Justice. Um, Rita says, I strained my back 10 days ago. My chiropractor says I have two or three bulge, di bulge discs, mm. L1, L2, and maybe L3. He mentioned doing gentle bounces on my back on the sanitizer. My energy healer therapist mentioned doing gentle walking just to go get some movement. I thought I should do that one, that on the cellar. Is there any thoughts on 
Oh, whoa. Any thoughts on these two recommendations? Could you demonstrate good ways to do them and offer any other suggestions? I'm still in a fair amount of pain, not consistently though. Yeah, I hope you have somebody that can help you. Give me your justice. Let's do it real quick. Let's have you sit like that. Because this is such a, this, this technique, I designed this over 25 years ago. And it has helped so many people. Let's turn it that way a little bit more. <laughs> there you go. Okay, generally you want to have this other side a little closer to the couch and move your hands up to this side. And, and what you do is you just say, you take all the vertical pressure off of the disc. And I'm just gently moving up and down, pushing down into the mat, bending up and down at the knee. And you're all right. Okay, and then you start to, you do that for a few minutes and then rock side to side for a few minutes. So this rocking back and forth and then up and down, that takes the vertical pressure off of the discs and the nerves. It's not a surface massage, it's a deep massage, but it's getting that circulation, helping reduce inflammation. And then as you rock side to side, it can help those discs reposition themselves so that uh, it can help get rid of the subluxation or, or, and give you and give you a almost immediate relief that often is. Okay. All right. I want to thank all of you for caring. I mean, you've, you've made a difference in the lives of so many people, and I've talked to more people even today, and I said, please write me, share those stories. I hope you will. I know one of the gentlemen was trying to get on our Facebook Live tonight. I hope he's able to make it. And we welcome him. And um, yes, yes, let's go. Um, Faye says, in the app, is there a way to see the time for each workout without clicking on the workouts? Also, is there a list or something that describes the workouts in my app? I just see between one and two X. Yeah, she's asking um, on the various different, I'll go to the homepage. So if you, you pick a, a uh, routine, it doesn't show the amount of time. It generally works from the easiest to the more advanced. So you can kind of get a general idea just by hitting that. It says 1807. So that's 18 minutes. You hit another one. It's 12 minutes, 25 seconds. So they're not, they're not hard to see, but um, I'll take that into consideration because if we just had the amount of time next to each one, then you could actually see it. Good idea. Thank you, Justice. Can you make a note of that? I want to put the time on each one of them. I think that's a great idea. Thank you. And I tell you, a lot of the great ideas that, that we've been able to come up with that we've incorporated into the Mr. Rebound app have come from you. So this is a great app, and i, I got to give credit. It's a, it's a family joint effort here. Okay. So let's go. To the right one, and I'm going to turn up some music. And before I do this, I'm going to show you how I happen to have, and I ordered the um, the wireless module. So I'm going to go to the uh, settings, and it says connect Bluetooth device. So I'm going to hit connect the Bluetooth device, and for those who have seen it, you probably have. That's the little wireless module here that uh, is made here in the U.S. And it attaches underneath the mat, and it will measure the number of bounces. It will interface with the app. So you'll have an intensity meter. It'll show you the amount of time before the next movement, and it will count the number of calories that you've actually burned. And so I'm going to, it says connect your device. So I just connected it to turn from red to green. Please turn on your Bluetooth device and it's connected. So it turns to blue. And also stick that back on there. And you don't have to take that off to, you just hit the button on the back side right here and it comes right on. So now I've got that on. So I'm gonna go back to my workouts, pick the one we didn't do last time, and we're going to get ready to start. So are we ready? It's gonna be fun, we'll have fun with this one.
But it doesn't, okay. All right, so we're doing the baby bounce. Yeah, we got it. Okay. You got a head start on me, I hope. So we're just going to do this for a couple minutes and a little over two minutes. And as you're doing it, just kind of feel what's going on inside your body. Hold your shoulders up and back a little bit. And as you're moving up and down, if you take your hands and you grab these muscles up here just to feel, I want you to feel how much weight you're putting on those muscles. And those muscles are the muscles that help support our posture. So when we're holding our body in the proper position, we're helping all those muscles to strengthen our alignment. And that's really helpful. So we're just taking time. The movement up and down is pumping the lymphatic system. And you can lift your heels up just slightly. It'll pump the calf muscle and the calf muscle will help to improve circulation in the lower extremities so we can help reduce edema, swelling, varicose veins. This is stimulating the thyroid, the adrenals, the endocrine system, everything is weightless weight, weightless weight. I, and I've said this before, it's been called the closest thing to the fountain of youth, yet devised by man. And I have no reason to doubt that. <laughs> So we're getting rid of the stress and tension. We've activated a vacuum system. There are millions of one-way valves right now that are sucking. And they're starting to pull that circulation in between all the tissue spaces of the body as well as the bones and the joints. So I'm really spending a little bit of time helping to open that up. Now, if you have an area of your body that is needs some special attention, send it love. Visualize it. See it not as being sick, but see it as being healthy. There is something called the practice of medicine. There's also something called the practice of health or practice of faith. It's something that we don't understand or exercise, I believe, enough. So when we visualize ourselves not just as we are, but as we can become, we'll be more proactive and our body can respond to that. Okay, so now we're doing the hip rock. As we're doing the hip rock, you can kind of drop that shoulder a little bit as you move into it. I like doing that because it helps. You're opening up the vertebral joints in the back. That pumping action, you're moving fluid up and down. And the pumping action as you move side to side helps to pull or suck a lot of that fluid into between the vertebral joints to the discs. And binding those discs with more synovial fluid. And as those discs receive more fluid, they can literally start to expand again. And there's more research into this now. I've been teaching this for years. So this is a way that we can open up the vertebral joints. If you work with a chiropractor, it's even faster. Because the chiropractor makes an adjustment, but the muscles are not used to the new alignment. And so gently bouncing up and down like we did in the very beginning with the movement up and down helps those muscles flex around that new alignment. It can expedite the, that whole healing process. So as I'm rocking side to side, I'm also dropping the hips into the mat. So there, there, there are several things occurring. If you take the fingertips, stick them directly underneath the bone in your hips, you feel those muscles really working. And that's what we want. We want the muscles strong, but we also want them flexible. And the movement up and down, from side to side, is working on those, those muscles all around the hip area and the lower back as well as the thighs and the knees. So very gentle, very effective. And I tell you, we're going to do it. It's easy. This is simple, but it's, it's, it's not simplistic. I mean, it's really effective. You're, all your internal organs are also getting the massage. The colon, 
that wraps up and around is actually pumping, the limb pumping. Now we're gently twisting, we're gonna do this for about a minute and a half. So we're working on the smooth muscles. You don't have to torque, you don't have to jump off the mat. Just lift those heels up and down and gently twist. And as we're gently twisting, we're helping to loosen up the lower back, but we're also taking all those smooth muscles, the colon, the intestines, and we're putting them through a little washing machine effect. We're moving up and down and side to side. And again, we're massaging the liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, the adrenals. Just the second most important activity I think we can do on the solar plexus. Second only to the baby bounce, which I think is the most important for everybody. It's moving up and down helps to break up sticky blood cells, it helps with back flush valves, open up capillaries. It's like getting easier to increase oxygen, blood flow, and nutrients to the brain. Stimulating up to 90% of brain activity is huge as you're moving up and down um, and doing different movements. So that's just the tip of the iceberg. This is truly whole body. I'm not treating one part of the body exclusive to another part of the body. It's everything's always involved collectively together. So even when you do more advanced exercises. Okay, what I want to do on this one, keep your, your waist straight ahead. I want you to just twist in the hip socket area. So the hips are straight ahead, and as we're opening up this whole hip joint right here, we're loosening up these muscles, and it helps to help people that have had sciatic issues and, and joint issues because it really is helping increase circulation and flexibility in that area. Okay, John the walk, and we're just gonna keep our back straight, our feet flat. We're just gently pushing down into the mat. And you can do it more intense if you want. But I want this to be something that all of you can use when you just want to put on a favorite TV show, watch television, and know that your body is getting these enormous benefits. And that's what we do. We turn this on and we watch the show. And we'll generally sit it right here. And as we watch the show, oh, hip hop, um, the time just flies by. <laughs> Okay, now if you take your shoulders and drop them down a little bit on this movement, you're gonna get a little bit more movement in the scapula between the shoulder blades and the hips and back. Okay, now jumbo walk again. And the reason I wanna do this a few times is to strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knee without causing any unnecessary stress or jarring effect. This is very gentle on the knee, but it really is targeting the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knee. And a lot of attention in doing that. Okay, another minute of pumping that lymphatic system, increasing that circulation. And yes, you can go on to the bar. Just just relax, it gives sort of the stress and the tension in the body as well. Take those shoulders if you can, kind of curl them back a little bit. So you lift your chest up, curl the shoulders back. We're going to do a little bit more of that in a minute, but um, it just helps to keep that alignment and that posture. And again, oh. Things goes in my mind. Communicate with your body and, and see it not just as it is, but as you would like it to become. And hold on to that vision. Hey, Jumbo Walk. <laughs> For years, I've told my son, even when he was in, geez, 
you probably have to remember this, but um, preschool, I tell him, you get a chance to make a gift. Give somebody a gift today. And that gift could be um, a smile, a compliment, some help, a gesture. He grew up always caring about everybody's welfare in the class. And he keeps doing that. And I, I share that because, you know, this is a season of goodwill. And there's always somebody that we can make a difference in their life. Okay, what we're doing right here, okay, these are massages for the neck. So you do little circular massages. You're kind of pushing in to the vertebral joints in the neck in those areas with your fingertips. So just pushing in and up to help move that fluid around in that, that whole neck area. And if you notice any tension directly by the atlas in this area, you can push and just kind of massage that area as well as you can take the pressure off of that uh, upper cervical. Okay, now we're going to just roll the head gently. Just roll the head. And when it dings, if it's going the same direction, just do it the opposite direction. All right, so here we go. We're going to go the other way. Good idea to hold on to the bar with this one just so you don't fall off. Okay, breathing, power breathing. Okay, now we're going to move our, see the difference in the voice? All right, we're going to move our shoulders to the back. So we're moving them back, I think. Now, now we're moving them back. All right, so move them back, and then we're going to do it again. We're, um, we're opening up circulation in the spinal column as well. Now to the forward, front. And then to the back. This in and of itself can offer a lot of relief for people in the upper, upper back, or mid back. Because we can hold a lot of stress and tension in the shoulder blades. And, and this just helps. It can, it, let me know if you notice some results. Okay. Elbows straight ahead. Justice. Can you play that again for light? It is plugged in. I think it's back. No, is it plugged in? No. Really? Okay. Elbows up over the head. Yeah. We're going to open up the shoulder. I don't think it is. It's closed. I didn't get back. It's okay, it didn't make much of it. Out to the side. And again, you can take your fingertips and hold on to the shoulders. You can feel them. Expanding and contracting, just great way to open up the shoulder. It just, it's been so helpful to me. Hmm. Up over the head again. flexibility in the shoulders, but it's also weight-bearing to strengthen that. Okay, so grab and 
pull your chin in front, just gonna go to the left. So you kind of pull that shoulder just gently to create stretch, and then we do the same thing with the right one. So we're working our way down. And I hope everybody has a really good sleep tonight. Get rid of that stress and tension. Okay, now what we do is we grab the elbows if you can. If you can't, just grab your wrists. But what our objective is to help create some more stretch in the shoulders and then we just switch arms and do it the other way too. So. Tubes in the lungs significantly. It gets oxygen again into the other one third of the lungs that we just generally don't get enough oxygen to anyway. But it's great if you like to sing too. And that I get a lot of stress and tension in my throat, I think, from talking on the phone all day long. So that's a good one for me. Initially, the bronchial tubes in the lungs might sound wheezy. That's normal. You're exercising those bronchial tubes and lungs so that they get stronger. And right now we're loosening up the lower back and creating that stretch. And we'll do the other side. The side that you might have a little more curvature or stress retention is the side that you will feel more of the stretch. And that's okay, that's the side you generally want to work more. You lift up and then and kind of tilt, you can often feel a little more stretch. But the other side again. See, this is the side that I feel more stretch. Hey, Dad. Yeah. When you finish the workout, can you come close to the camera to show your arms reaching elbows? Sure. You uh, And if you lift up and then stretch, you can 
probably fill it in the uh, I call it a solar flex with that uh, muscle deep inside. recommended the twist on the side to side. Are we talking about this or are we talking about this? I'm not sure. Could you clear? Okay, so this one here is great for the hips. Um, it helps with the knees because the knees are slightly bent. Focus on your fingertips, you should feel a throbbing now. That's pretty prevalent um, just with the movement up and down. You know you're getting that circulation to all of the extremities of your body now. Yes, yes. Um, what's the best workout for MS? Just getting on it and doing what I'm doing right now, quite frankly. It creates balance on both sides of the body and also helps to increase circulation as well in, in the brain and around the brain. Okay, one, two, one, two. Okay, so you're pushing down and pulling up. We're getting a little bit of exercise for those arms and you can push as hard as you're comfortably able to. You're not gonna hurt or tear your muscles in this. If you want faster results or weight more weight loss, you can tense your muscles in the stomach and the buttocks. Just kind of tense those muscles while you're bouncing. And they're working harder that way. Okay, other arm. Yes. 
the other side. down on that you can feel that. Good exercise for lunch. <clears throat> Almost done. This is the last <clears throat> real movement. And then what we'll do is kiss the baby bounce and just relax. You know, we've already burned, gently burned over 200 calories. And and I hope you feel better. I hope you feel good. Release that stress and that tension. You know that you've helped the body to circulate better, form better, relax more. If there's anything specific you want to address, by all means, keep writing. Let us know. Um, baby health bounce. Okay. I hope everybody has a great holiday season. I want to thank you for all your support. You, uh, you've made the difference in our lives. And I know you've made the difference in the lives of a great many other people. Please keep sending those customer reviews because your influence is going to continue to help others. We thank you for that. And let's hope and pray for peace and goodwill as much as we can. And make a difference. Be a difference. And thank you again for everything you do and for sharing it. So if there's anything in this program you think it might be beneficial to somebody you care about, by all means, please share it. Thank you very much. Yes, Justin. Um, is there any exercises that address snoring? <sighs> Not really, although we had somebody comment on that today, and I hope they're going to send me the, the customer review. How um, in the time that they've been able to do it, they haven't been snoring, they've been able to sleep through the night. Um, he had a number of other things that he mentioned. So uh, there's a palate in the back, upper um, palate, that as you move up and down, it's weight-bearing. And so anytime you put weight on those, those muscles, it's possible that it helps to tone them up. I know it does it for the face too. You were asking about the elbows. Okay, it's done like this where you just kind of grab, if you can only grab here, that's fine. But if you can grab the elbows, grab the elbows, and you bounce for a few moments in this position, and then you change and do it into the other position, which is like this. So I just go like this. Grab it this way, and then grab it this way. And you can kind of walk it with your fingers a little bit, so it offers a little more stretch. When you get to the stretch, then you move up and down. It helps massage that tension and increase that flexibility. Thank you all so much. You mean the world to us. Um, we wish you all the very best in the holiday season. And thank you for being a part. Remember, as I've said, why work out when you can play in? Let's make it fun. Thank you.